Hello students, in present video, I'm going to explain about second problem from depreciation topic. I'm taking this question from Pankaj Publications book. Let us see the question first. Rajesh purchased a second hand machine for 18,000 rupees on 1st April 2010. He spent 2,000 rupees on its overall and the installation. Depreciation is written off at 10% per annum on original cost method. On 30 June 2013, the machine was found to be unsuitable and sold for 4,000 rupees. Prepare the machinery account from 2010 to 2013, assuming that the accounts are closed on 31st December every year. This is the question. Let us see the solution for this. See, this is a solution. Missionary account, date particular same on date particular same on. First, what happened? Rajesh purchased a second hand machine for 18,000 rupees on 1st April 2010. He spent 2,000 rupees on its overall and installation. In 2010, April 1st, they purchased this asset. And at the end, he is giving that accounts are closed on 31st December every year. So, year starting date is 1st January, year ending date is 31st December. And we have to start with the 2010 year. 2010 year on 1st April 2010 debit side when we buy the asset debit side we have to show now to bank account 18,000 on the same date he spent expenditure on this asset for that also write down to bank account and expenditure amount is 2000 so total cost of the asset is 20,000 so 20,000 worth asset we used in 2010 year from when to when 1st April to 31st December. So April 1st means April also we have to count now. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. 9 months we used. Therefore, on this cost of the asset 20,000 at the rate of 10% for 9 months you have to provide depreciation. Depreciation on credit side we should write year end date. Amount is 1500. Then on the same day debit total minus credit total. 20,000 minus 1500 is equal 18,500. Two sides, highest total we should write 20,000, 20,000. So, first year is completed. Come to second year. This balance bring on debit side. Two balance brought down. Date is next day to this date. 1st January 2011. In 2011 year, there is no purchase, there is no sale. So, at the end of the year, 31st December 2011, by depreciation, this is fixed installment method now. On original cost, every year we have to provide depreciation. Therefore, second year also, on cost of the asset, 20,000 at the rate of 10%. And a full year we used. So, months are not required. Into 12 by 12 will be there. 20,000 into 10%, 2,000. And on the same day, by balance carried down. Debit total 18,500 minus credit amount 2000 is equal 16,500. Two said highest total 18,500, 18,500. Now this amount bring on opposite side, debit side. For that write down two balance brought down. Date is next date to this date. 1st January 12. In 2012 also there is no extra purchase, there is no sale. So same asset is continuing till 31st December. So 31st December 2012 provide depreciation. One year depreciation. Already we have calculated here 2000. Same amount. Then debit total 16,500 minus credit amount 2000 is equal 14,500. For that balance carried down. Last date of the year. Two sides highest total. Up to 2013 we use this. Because when it is sold on 30 june 2013 so up to that date we have to show this asset account so 14500 debit side 1st january 2013 two balance brought down when we sold this asset see the question on 30 june 2013 the machine was found to be unsuitable and sold for 4000 rupees therefore up to sale date only we should show the depreciation values Credit side, 30 June 2013. When we purchase the asset, debit side we are showing now to bank account. If you sell the asset, credit side you have to show that. So, by bank account, they sold it for 4000 rupees. Write down that value. And up to that date only, we have to provide depreciation. 
2013 last date is 31st December 2013. But don't show the depreciation on that day because on that day there is no asset now. Asset we have only up to 30 June 13. Therefore, depreciation also up to that date only at a calculate. So same date for depreciation, sale date by depreciation account. Now in 2013, we used it only up to 30 June. So from when to when we used? 1st January to 30 June. January, February, March, April, May, June. Total 6 months only we used. Therefore, on 20,000 at the rate of 10% per annum, only for 6 months we have to provide depreciation. So 6 by 12 is equal to 1,000 rupees. And in this sale, we may get a profit or loss. That also we have to clearly calculate. So come to working notes. Heading profit or loss in sale of machinery. First take cost. Cost is 20,000 rupees including installation charges. 20,000 in outer column minus total depreciation. In 2010 year depreciation is 1500. Take that amount in inner column. In 2011 year depreciation is 2000. Show that amount here. 2012 2000. 2013 1000. All these four depreciation amounts in outer column, 6,500. This is total depreciation. From cost, we have to subtract this total depreciation. Then book value comes. So book value is equal to 13,500. Book value means the value of the asset on sale date. So 13,500 worth asset, we sold for 4,000. We sold for less. Means loss came now. So book value first 13,500 minus sale value 4,000 loss is equal 9,500. If profit comes debit side you have to show in the account. If loss comes you have to show on credit side. So as this is loss show on credit side. When loss comes when we sell the asset on the same day. Therefore for loss also same day we should write 30 June 2013. This loss amount we should transfer to profit and loss account. Therefore, for this loss, you have to write by profit and loss account. Loss amount is 9,500. Now, debit total 14,500. Credit amounts 4,000 plus 1,000, 5,000 now. So, 14,500 minus 5,000 is equal 9,500. And here also 9,500 only came. So, it is tallying like that. When only one asset is there and if it is sold at the end of this sale year, you should get same totals. Amount should get tallied like this. Why balance carry down is not coming in this problem? Because only one asset is there that is sold. Suppose you are getting balance carry down here. Then the meaning is problem is wrong. Because balance carry down we have means what? For next year, there is some balance brought down amount. Still asset is there. But only one asset we have and that is sold. So after 30 June 2013, there is no asset now. That is why in last year at the end, we should not get any balance carried down figures. So this is the end of present video. Take a screenshot of this solution. So hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.